We are all designers, that's uh, what makes us uh, human. We have been designing ourselves from the very beginning of uh, humanity and we continue to do so in our everyday actions. Uh, in the makeup we put in the morning, in the way we arrange our hair before we go out, but also in the things that we take to become more human, like the coffee we drink or the pills uh, we take. And But we have extended ourselves also in uh, or design ourselves also with the help of new technologies. For example, in social media, everybody has become a very uh, careful designer of their own mm -hmm. identities, even mm -hmm. multiple identities. Even a teenager, even a little kid, uh, knows how to post things on, uh, on different social media and, and therefore, or thereby, construct a very precise image of, uh, of herself or himself. We have the idea that the visitor is the most impressive designer in the room. Mm. Normally in a design show you go and worship uh, designers. Mm. This exhibition worships the visitor. Mm. Uh, the visitor is a complex uh, designing machine. Mm. Uh, but more than that, the visitor has been designed. Yes. Uh, so you design yourself, we are self-designers. Right, and the whole exhibition is like a mirror, a mirror of ourselves. So as you walk into the exhibition, you see yourself in the mirror of uh, four size, but you see yourself also in the body being dissected, you see yourself in the a glass uh, 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 man that lets you see inside the, uh, the body. You, you see yourself, also you see the damage that you have done, that you are continuously doing, as you were asking uh, very precisely. Um, we may be the only species that have systematically designed our own uh, extinctions or other species were driven away by our actions. Yes, well in general terms we have divided the exhibition in, uh, in a number of uh, things which are uh, kind of clouds, right? Clouds of projects that relate to a certain topic. For example, here in the Greek school, in Galata, we have uh, the body and the planet. In the first two floors of the Greek school is mm -hmm. dedicated to the body, and the second two floors are dedicated uh, uh, to the planet. And the top floor is uh, what we have called the Homo cellular. The Homo cellular is uh, for us a new kind of uh, species. This, that this species? The, the species that emerges with the arrival of the smartphone. We have outsourced uh, huge amounts of our brain, um, to this uh, thing, to this uh, iPhone. We cannot navigate the city without the help of Google Maps. We don't remember things in the same way, or our brains are changing. This is the point of, uh, of, the, of the Homo cellular. In Studio X, which is a few uh, blocks down, down the same uh, uh, street, the theme is life. And they are uh, automata from the 13th century, uh, Islamic uh, automata, beautiful uh, things. But there are also experiments from the last uh, few um, years. Now, if you go to Beaumonti, to Old uh, mm -hmm. uh, Beaumonti, there the theme is time. And it's deep time in the sense of archaeological time, 200,000 years. They are the first uh, hand axes, for example, in the exhibition, or the footprints or the shoeprints uh, of, um, uh, that were found here in Istanbul when excavating for the metro. Mm -hmm. But there are also exhibits on the last two seconds, so social media as a space for, uh, for design. So this is basically, well, of course, then there is the Archaeological Museum. Yeah, which the, the great Istanbul Archaeological Museum, mm -hmm. uh, which has the other half of the Designing Time cloud. Mm -hmm. and has been the greatest honor for us to, to work with the Istanbul Archaeological Museum. And of course, we think of Istanbul as a kind of design museum. Uh, mm -hmm. The whole city. <laughs> where you just dig a hole and you find another civilization. And then the Istanbul Archaeological Museum is, is just this extraordinary collection of, of human design. Uh, maybe one way to understand the exhibition, it's, it's an archaeological show. Um, normally a design exhibition looks to the future um, and we say that's great uh, but you can only really look to the future with intelligence if you also look uh, to, the past. to the past and this is the region of the world the so-called Middle East uh, and actually what's now called Turkey in particular you could say this is where the human was invented all the things that you think of as being most human about the human 
food, agriculture, animals, villages, fire, um, cities, states. He's born here. So the human became human, right? So the design biennale uh, first should pay respect uh, to the region, to this great laboratory, um, and only then think about the future. And uh, we are historians, so it's a historical show. What can we say? If we are completely living in design all the time, yeah. why would you go to a design biennale? Because you're living in a design biennale, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, so you're living in an exhibition of design. Why would you go to an exhibition of design? And actually, most design biennales are pretty boring. The, the, the idea of a design biennale is coming from the 19th century. Uh, industry and designers get together to, to, to kind of tell you the news, the news about design, what's good about design. Mm -hmm. But you don't need the news anymore. You don't need to go to Design Biennale to find out what's news because you have your cell phone. You don't have to wait two years. Uh, so actually we thought it's time for a new kind of exhibition, an exhibition that challenges the idea of design. So actually, if you're living in design all the time, Design Biennale is the one place you go where design is questioned. Right? Outside, design is the very engine of the world. As Bertie says, everybody's thinking about design. It's design, design, design all the time. Mm -hmm. Paradoxically, in this Biennale, you go inside and you go, uh-oh, uh, maybe design is not such a good thing. Uh, mm -hmm. So in a way, it's the opposite of the beginning of design exhibitions. The beginning of design exhibitions was to say, hey, we have something new, design. Mm -hmm. um, and this exhibition says, hey, uh, you're living inside that thing called design and it's not a good idea. So this basically, the show says that good design is not a good thing. Um, and then suddenly the visitor sees themselves, maybe. And if you see yourself, maybe you hesitate. And I think the greatest gift of any artist or any thinker or any historian is to make you hesitate and, and challenge you a little bit so you, you think. And as Beatrice says before, we, we, we're super interested in the idea that designers could today be the people that help you to think. Not the artists, the philosophers, the designers. So we celebrate design by killing it and then inviting it to, <laughs> to resurrect itself and redesign itself uh, and not be boring. <laughs>